welcome to my channel right now you are in the right place hello welcome back to my channel i've been excited creating 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 for you so i don't know if you saw the card where i showed you how to decorate wooden spoons i have this other method where we are covering this pool handle the other one was a partial pattern uh some of it using pyrography which is wood burning to engrave but you can just carve so go check it out in the card above and later on check even there's another playlist here that showed you how i made the jar that went with with that set of wooden spoons you know the place where you'll have them and i'm so excited to share this with you i'm juliet Migwe, and i normally share with you my resin art so if you're here again welcome back if it's your first time please subscribe and press the notification bell if you'd like more of this and to see this how they will look once they are you know styled and the other colors the other types of videos that sometimes i'm not able to share on youtube because i'm doing short form on instagram or more often please follow me on instagram actually maybe inspires the other thing you need to check out is this wooden holder for these spoons i'm going to decorate it with similar colors using the cup tanner so make sure you also watch that video so lots and lots of videos for you for this we'll use these colors we're using the mermaid dust in may spring we're going to use these other opulent tanzanite it's like a, a navy blue and for white because i'm going to use this dazzling diamond in may spring and a mica a say so mica the satin silver white uh and i'm I forgot, i'm going to add in a little of the opaque pigment in white so that um, it becomes dark so that we do not have to so that we do not it can be opaque not translucent and for we're also going to add in the sunshine gold they say so sunshine gold so we're going to mix that with the resin and then i'll show you the process as i do this i'm going to use a mat under and you'll see that because i'm going to try to pull the resin that pours from this spoon so that we don't waste so make sure you watch the video after this because i'll show you how i recycled or upcycled by making a lampshade using the tray that i'll use uh, i will pull the resin from so what we're going to use are these wooden spoons we put latex on them you know so that they can they don't have to get i don't have to deal with removing resin on this underside and then i paint it so that this white uh can allow for the brilliance of our colors to shine through because brown sometimes steals away that brightness and then I've just uh, covered with a clean film on this end so that sometimes when you're dealing with resin and gloves have resin, you don't want to touch this wooden part because or the bamboo part because once you do, it will stick to the it will stick to the to the wood and I don't want that. So I've just done this and I'll remove at the end. I've just put in this tape not because I needed it because I've already put latex. It's because I wanted to I wanted it to give me. A borderline a clear sign where latex ends because once latex dries it's almost clear it's just cloudy but clear so it's hard to see I'm going to wear my protective gear everything resin gloves mask um, what else yeah so let's keep watching
these ones have cured for 24 hours but i still don't want to mess around with this much just in case it still bruises a bit but i don't want to wait longer because i need to be able to remove I, I prefer to remove the spots at the back and I'll show you let me show you let me move this aside I'll show you how to do one okay. I prefer okay so this is how I tied it down and I'll share with you three tips as I do this one always make sure it's level 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 because this was not fully level so the resin was still pulling down so you can see here in in this place it's clear and as you can see most of our blue also how do i say uh continue dripping down and for that tip number two try and make sure your resin rests for a bit so it's a little thicker so that when you're putting it it's not flowing as easily and number three you see my white because i didn't put resin all the way to the end my white can really be seen so test it first on how you're going to place it because if i had, when i was placing it if i had known i wouldn't put resin beyond here beyond this point I would have painted until here the other thing instead of placing co coloring the white under the primary color in this case it was a turquoise uh, mermaid dust that blue that teal color I would have painted it under so that I then I put my teal and then it would still have brought out the oomphness you know of uh, that teal color because now when the teal has gone and flown out it still looks good but not, this is not the final color i had wanted it still looks good you know so if i'm selling it it's okay for the person who will pick this color but if i'm making it for someone who's specifically requested for teal then this wouldn't do i would have had maybe to do another layer or do another set so the preferred color then is to paint a blue under and then do the teal on top so that even when it flows there's still some blue in there because now you can see the blue but it is paint yeah the, i think the tanzanite took over a little so it looks like a black but it's not a black and we can still see shades of the gold but lightly because it flowed out so don't forget that and so now uh we're going to remove this I still won't remove this yet because I'm going to have to clean this like this uh, I'll have to clean this thankfully I can clean this with um, alcohol wipe or alcohol and it will come out that's the good thing at least about acrylic and this one had a nice finish so there won't be part of it going into the part of it going into the grains so let me show you how I do this so I also won't for the moment I also won't remove this latex on at this part but I want to show you I'll just peel it up after I finish cleaning so that I have less surface to clean and also I keep this clean but I just want to show you how easy and quick it is because I'm doing this now before it becomes too cured even though it's too cured it still won't do much for me but the less cured it is for me the easier it is so let me show you I lift the latex here a bit like rubber and luckily I painted after putting latex so here I'll have a nice clean line when the latex goes so even for the paint it hasn't seeped in and so now 
that's why I do it almost 24 hours later before it's too cured so that this don't stick down and to help me also I some I don't have to but because the drops sometimes stick a little more on the latex and I just want one pull not that they can't come out because they're on the latex but instead of having to go in and start removing one by one I just do a light hitting like that and then I start pulling see that <laughs> So nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Come out. Okay. Don't know why this one is okay. It's coming out. Even these ones that seem hard are not really hard. They're stuck there. Yeah. See? They come out even with just my fingers. And then they just come off. The right putic edges but you also don't want to do it before it's too when it's not cured because you will spoil your work on this side when you touch so that's it see see how clean that finishes look at that and so after this if you have to you really are not even scraping the wood. You're just removing that last bit of latex that maybe you can't do with your finger. Sometimes your nails, maybe if they're not long, I'm not even scraping the wood. I'm doing lightly to just remove that latex that's there. I'll do this to the rest and then show you how they look when they're fully done. But to see how they look, on their in their container follow me on instagram at juliet migwe inspires because that's why i'm going to show you and other ways of styling this when you're selling or for housewarming or for a gift and i hope you also subscribe and press notification bell so that you don't miss out on the other videos god bless you baraka teller see you on the next one